I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. Hi there. Today I'm going to teach you a trick for Magic's Movie Edit Pro version 15 plus that will definitely add an element of realism to all your videos. We've seen those medical slash police dramas where the camera focuses in on the action but they can't seem to keep the camera still. This accomplishes two things. One, it adds a certain sense of you were there to the shot, even if you don't like the effect. And two, it allows the editor to accomplish sometimes amazing special effects in a shot that was done on a tripod which otherwise might not have been quite as believable if it had been sitting still long enough for the viewer to pick the scene apart. To do this on a PC, one would normally have to resort to a popular software package that can be as expensive as a thousand dollars. But here, I'll show you how to do it with Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus, which if you don't already have it, costs only $89.99. Make sure you watch this to the very end so you don't miss out on any important information that might help you make this effect work better for you. First, you'll need to find someone who can't hold the camera steady. That's me! Next, find a fence post or some other similar stationary object with a simple shape. Have your camera person stand about 3-5 to five yards away from the subject. Any further and the effect will be way too intense, as long shots are much harder to keep steady than closer shots. Zoom the camera in to where the subject is the main object in the center of the frame and start recording. Have your camera person try to keep the subject centered as well as possible in the middle of the frame. It's not important that they keep the camera still, just that they keep the subject near the center. Keep recording for two to three minutes so that you have a long enough sample of their motion. Next, it's time to go back to Movie Edit Pro and begin building our effect. Start a new project and import the video clip you just shot. To make things faster, remove the audio from the clip by first selecting the video, clicking the ungroup icon, that's the little broken chain thing here, and then select the audio track and hit the delete key. Now right click on the video track and select image stabilization. For starters, just keep the default settings that Movie Edit Pro gives you and click the perform stabilization button. The program might pop up with a little box that warns you about how long it's going to take. Just click OK. Then go make yourself a sandwich because depending on how powerful your PC is and how wobbly your camera person is, Hi. it might take 20 minutes, half an hour, or longer. So, find yourself something better to do while the computer's working. Fortunately, you will only have to do this part once. Once the process is finished, click the OK button and the hard part is over. Now, right click on the video track and select Video Effects from the pop-up menu. Select Save Video Effects and then you'll see a window with a bunch of check marks showing all the image stabilization effects that Movie Edit Pro has added to your track. Click the Continue button and then you can name your file something clever like The Wobbler or some equally silly sounding name. Click the Save button. Now you've just created your own movement template which you can now apply to other videos. To try out the new effect you just made, start a new project and import some video which you've shot using a tripod or some other stationary camera placement. Now right click the video track and select Video Effects again and now you'll click on Load Video Effects at which point you should see the template you created before. Select it and click the open button. Seriously, it's now that simple. Simply right click and load the effect. Preview the video and if all went as planned, you should see the video wobbling around and looking totally natural, like someone shot it with a handheld camera. Some things to remember. When saving your file, be sure not to use any periods or dots in your file name because when you go to load it, you won't find it. Secondly, be sure your movie settings are set to the same resolution and frame rate when you perform the image stabilization stage as the rest of the movies you're going to edit. This way the movements and the zoom levels stay in the proper proportions. And lastly, if the clip you're trying to apply the new effect to is longer than the 2-3 to three minute clip that you stabilized, you might have to chop it up into shorter pieces and apply the clip to the pieces, otherwise the effect will run out before the clip does. With all that said, here's the proof. Using this effect, you'll turn your videos from this to this. Have fun.